Cool, and we're back online. Uh, it's Touch of Grace uh, to Mela featuring Shanae Horton. Welcome, Shanae, to the house. I'm glad to be back. It's good to see you. Good to see you <laughs> same, again. Same. She's also not uh, a first timer. <laughs> it's the second time. Yes. Welcome, welcome again. And we were just having a wonderful conversation with Tumela uh, about uh, Miss Bold PE. We have just hit that question. Uh, we've discussed a few things on, um, you know, what is pageantry, the fashion, yes. why she got in, into that. And uh, she just mentioned the partner, which is you, yes. I believe. Cool. It's awesome, awesome, awesome stuff that you guys are doing. So uh, we were just talking on uh, the question, Bold, Miss Bold PE. And she wanted to refer the question to you. Uh, I don't know if you're maybe able to explain why did you guys choose the name Bold? Miss sure. P. So initially, my idea was just Miss P.E. plus size. Okay. But I feel like, um, you know, these ladies, they come out of their comfort zone to throw themselves into yes. a new opportunity, a new um, way of doing things yes. and that makes them brave mm -hmm. but that word just didn't connect with me mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I was looking at different um, names that I could name this pageant and it didn't take me that long to come up with the word bold because these ladies are going above and beyond and they're challenging norms mm -hmm. they are bold in everything that mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. they are living boldly in their skin mm -hmm. they are taking on every challenge, every opportunity mm. as it hits them. Mm. And that just makes them so like they're living their best life. Mm. They are living boldly. And that's just amazing to me. Amen. Okay, okay cool. If I may ask, like, why did you like, um, um, she introduced the idea to you or who introduced the idea to who <laughs> <laughs> initially? <laughs> she, she introduced the idea to me. Okay. So, yeah, it was an opportunity for me and for, for us, by the way. All right. So, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, what what was the idea behind? What, like, uh, was, what drove you to start this? Okay. So, when I was here the last time, I kind of touched on this. Yes. Um, I'm the younger sister of a normal sized model. Okay. So she yeah. was junior Miss PE, Miss PE, Miss Eastern Cape. Mm. And I was always the one in the changing room, tying her shoes, okay. doing her dresses. Yes. But because of my size, I was never allowed to enter these competitions mm. as they do have restrictions. Okay. And growing up in that environment, mm. Um, you also want to feel like a queen. You also yes. want to feel like a princess. Yes. You also want to wear pretty dresses. Yes. But you get told that there's not a competition for people your size. Mm. You're too chubby. You, mm. we, don't, we couldn't find your size. Mm. All of these things. Mm. So as I got older, yeah. I felt confident enough to look for other opportunities for people my size. All right. And I came across one, which was Miss South Africa Plus World for mm. the Eastern Cape Regional. Into that, I won that. Mm. Further than that, there were no opportunities, especially for plus size women here mm. in PE, especially. Mm. Mm. So I decided to create one, Ooh, and that's okay. where the idea stemmed <laughs> <All right>. from. <laughs> Pioneers, yeah, no. like, it's amazing <laughs> stuff. We have creative stuff, mm. people in the house, hey, eh? cool. So, um, if I may ask, what have been some of the challenges you know, uh, you know, like since you guys started, when did you guys start? And uh, what have been like a challenge, you know, or one or two things that you guys have, you know? Yeah. Okay, so initially, mm. um, I had this idea at the beginning of 2020, yes. but obviously lockdown hit and everything mm. just, just okay. Mm. But it also gave me an opportunity to sit and actually think about what I wanted this brand to be. Mm. And I approached 10 ladies. Mm. We initially were supposed to be 10. Yeah. Mm. It has only ended up being to me and I. <laughs> okay, so I'm okay. so grateful for her. Cool. Those That's like one of the challenges. You can't get other people to believe in mm. your idea, your initiative. So true, yeah. But Tumela jumped in there mm. head on and she's been by my side ever since. Um, we launched in September yes. um, of 2020 okay. and it's been a crazy whirlwind mm. so far. <laughs> but we've been enjoying it. Um, also, some of the challenges, obviously finances, mm. we are doing this out of our own pockets. Mm. We, are not, we haven't made a profit of anything this mm. far. But we're not doing it for the money. We're doing it for other ladies to feel as confident as we do in our bodies or at least trying to feel as confident mm -hmm. as we do in our bodies. Mm -hmm. um, 
when you deal with women, there's a lot of personalities. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> women and their personalities. That has been one of our main challenges. Yes. But um, when you have a passion for it, you know, you yes. get through all you of these through. things. Yeah. And, you know, that's probably one of the things we were talking about as well. You know, like, you know, because uh, we when you're dealing with people, you know, you know, people is, is something else, you know. Uh, taking someone from point A to where you believe they could be. Because, mm. you know, you have to believe. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing. You have to believe in them. Because sometimes they don't see it for themselves. But you see it. You tell them, I believe you can do this. Definitely. And mm. uh, it's one of the success, you know, stories that probably you could tell. Uh, wh what is it that you have seen in one or two, you know, ladies that you've dealt with? You know, like you could see an amazing change, you know, in somebody just by inspiring confidence and, you know, uh, making their day beautiful and stuff like that. So um, we ran our photogenic competition to find a face for our brand, okay. right? And we now have a face of our brand. Her name is Saskia Gulab. Okay. Saskia yeah. is a very <laughs> introverted person. Okay. She's extremely <laughs> introverted. Yeah. But we had our first official shoot on Saturday with Saskia as the face of the brand. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, she just bloomed into yeah. this person <laughs> that was behind the camera and enjoying herself. Yes. And she just came out of her comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Even during her first interview for mm -hmm. um, a newspaper, mm -hmm. she was quite nervous. But being an introverted person... Yes. There's just something about her that she radiates when mm. she needs to. Mm. And that, for me, has just been awesome to watch, awesome to see, because I saw her the first time. She did not say a word to anyone else. She was just there about her business, <laughs> taking her pictures, and off she went. But now she's, like, coming out of her shell, and that's what we want to do with this brand. Mm. Not to make anyone feel like they're better than anybody else, mm. or... Yes making you the best model you can be it's not about that mm -hmm. it's not about beauty it's not about how pretty you are mm -hmm. it's not about how much mm -hmm. money you have mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. us it's just about inspiring other people to feel as confident as we do mm -hmm. we don't promote like an unhealthy lifestyle or mm -hmm. people being obese and so forth mm -hmm. we're really into promoting a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. but also um one step at a time yes, so you need sure. to feel confident in who you are mm. with the person you are in your body mm. at this moment mm. in time mm. and every day there forward mm. so that's what we're about and i can really say that mm. looking at the 16 ladies that did enter for the photogenic competition mm -hmm. each of them mm. just came out and they were beautiful in their own way everybody had their own style their own character and mm. it was just amazing to watch it mm. was a perfect day for oh, me fantastic Cool. So, how many how many ladies are you guys dealing with now? About how many um, in total, uh, or have you dealt since you guys started? Since yeah, it was sixteen mm -hmm. on the previous uh, competition. So now we're looking at twenty. Twenty. Yes. All right. Cool. 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 And and um, what are some of the? Because I I okay, from my perspective, I don't really understand what happens what the whole logistics and some of the things <laughs> that you have to deal with, you know, arranging this thing. How, just give our listeners just a brief, you know, um, explanation of what it takes to run a pageantry. We'll start with you, Tamela. <laughs> well, it, 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 it's, you must be, like she's saying, you must be passionate. Mm. Because if you're not passionate, you won't have a drive. Mm. It really requires your time. Mm. It really requires someone that can, can, can. You need to be out there. You need mm. to know people. Mm. You know, you need to be always on your toes. You mm. know, that's, mm. that's what, what you need to be. Mm. So passion will drive you, number one. Mm. And then time management, you must have good time mm. management because mm. you spend time, you spend searching for resources, uh, you spend time sourcing for, for, for sponsors, sourcing mm, for things mm, that we mm, do not have. Mm, like she's saying, mm, challenges now we have is yes, finance yes, challenges. Yes, we yes. have to pay on mm, our pockets for mm, stuff. Mm, she's mm, probably like she's the finance manager for, mm, the, for the whole mm, thing, mm, you know. Mm, I support her there and there, mm, but she's mm, because mm, of her passion, mm, of her drive. Mm, and she sold the idea to me mm, and you know, mm. the way she sold it to me, yeah, and I was like, she's passionate, like, let me just, I'm buying on this, and then I'm doing it, let's do it, you mm, know, because mm. it, it it was my dream to see women 
filling up the space, mm. especially plus size women. Mm. Let's take up the it's space. True. Let's own up it's the true. space. Let's mm. go out there and in mm. our skin, let's enjoy in our bodies. Let's mm. love us. Let's, mm. you know, let's be confident mm. that, yeah, we have, we, there is space for, you know? Yes. That's when I know that there is space for us. Yes. <laughs> cool. Um, how would you like respond to that? So, there's a lot that yeah. goes in behind the scenes. Mm. Yeah. Before you actually just see, a lot of people just think, ah, you just get a venue, you dress up these ladies nice, you will let them walk in a ramp, and that's it. It is not. That's just the tip of the iceberg. It, ah, it stressed me out completely just for the photogenic competition. Yeah. And now we have already started planning like a year ahead for our actual first beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. um, but our main goal is just to get as much as possible. Um, in sponsors for these ladies. Mm. Pageantry is expensive. Mm. It is extremely expensive mm. to do, um, especially for a contestant as well. Mm. Um, so our goal is to just get as many sponsors on board mm. to support these ladies, to show them that there are people that mm. want to see you succeed, in, mm. especially mm. in this industry, mm. because there was never space for us in this industry mm. before. Mm. So if we're not going to create it, mm. then nobody is. Yes, so... Mm. I believe like there's a lot of one or two people that um, have tried to create opportunities for plus size people, mm. but they are not plus size mm. themselves. Mm. So you don't understand where yes. these ladies are coming That's from. True. You don't yes. understand how uncomfortable they feel in certain yes. situations. Yes. So us as plus size ladies, yes. we want to create that space where we know how you feel. Mm. And there's a lot that goes into it especially a lot of thinking behind mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. because if you do something a certain way yes. it can come back to bite you yes. <laughs> so yeah that's the main thing just sitting and putting it together yes. mentally yes. before you actually do anything yeah. you know i so I, I i would believe that i mean that would, should be a lot more challenging you know to do than the normal um you know running of a pageantry like the normal kind of pageantry so um what have been some of your successes, if you put it that way, like a success, something like a, a milestone since you guys started in September? Like something can say like, we did this, man. We did this. We pulled it off. <laughs> I actually like I can cry when I think about it because mm. we started from scratch mm -hmm. with everything on our own. Mm. Our Facebook page from September till now mm. has grown to almost 4,000 people. Whew. So reaching that amount of people and seeing that there is a need mm. for this kind of thing mm. has been the top of the iceberg mm. for me. Amen. But above mm. and beyond that, mm. um, our sponsors came out. We had mm. almost 9,000 Rand worth of prizes Ooh, for our face of Miss yes. Bold, as well as 1,000 Rand cash. So mm. 10,000 altogether. Sure. Um, we initially thought of only 3,000 oh, worth of prizes yes. and 1,000 Rand. Mm. And these sponsors approached us. So that has just been amazing to see that there are people that mm. want to come out and support us without us even having to reach out to them. Mm. And I promise you, we did speak to a lot of people. Obviously, there were disappointments here and there. Mm. But for me, everything about what we have started has been a success so mm. far. Mm. And I really pray that it continues to be that mm. way. Cool. And I trust that it will. Mm. We trust in the loving it God, will. it will. It will. Cool. Um, um, in terms of, okay, uh, I'm not a woman, so I really don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have to bring me up to speed, okay? In terms of like... Um, how do you like some of the things that you coach the ladies? I believe there's some sort of coaching, you know, it's not just like you pop, you know, just come on, on the day, you, you, you know, you do this. Uh, what sort of a coaching do you, do you coach them, guide them in terms of like diet, you know, whatever, you know, in terms of, uh, to, you know, uh, yeah, if you, if you can just... Okay, brief. so with our photogenic competition, mm. it was solely based on their pictures, right? Mm. Like I said, we are planning towards our um, big beauty pageant in next year. Mm. So we haven't yet reached that stage. Okay. But with the face of Miss Bold, um, all we could do was provide them with certain poses and how to pose, how to carry yourself, mm. right? Um for these ladies, it's something new. Mm. So I just told them that be yourself and what in whatever you do, do it with grace. If you lose, you lose with grace. Mm. Right? 
if you win, you carry it with grace. You don't go out there and be in everyone's face, mm -hmm. right? For me, that's just the bottom line of it. Yeah. Um, but with coaching and stuff, I am planning on getting in um, professionals in the field, especially mm -hmm. with like um, Zumba classes mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. um, diet plans because mm -hmm. we did have mm -hmm. a lady mm -hmm. that sponsored us, Vaidaman Fitness, mm -hmm. um, for our winner as well. She uh, sponsored an eating plan, a diet plan, healthy snacks and so forth. So there are people that are willing to do this for us mm -hmm. and definitely we do plan on getting them on board. Mm -hmm. Cool. And if uh, I may ask, um, with regards to the situation that we are all facing, COVID-19 mm -hmm. has affected everyone, including ourselves. Uh, how has this been um, a challenge or an opportunity? Because I know it's not affected everyone equally. Some people, it's like, it's an opportunity to be like, yay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but for some people, it's like business have closed down. How has this affected uh, the Miss Bold and the operations and the way you guys uh, do things? Because uh, social distancing and now you can't, you know, congregate, you know, a whole lot and stuff like that. Uh, thank goodness that we, we started with the fa with the with the face. Mm -hmm. So it was mostly a photogenic. Yeah. So when we have photogenic, we're able to to follow the regulations, mm -hmm. right? We took precautions. We so it it has not affected for us. It's an opportunity. I must mm -hmm. say it mm -hmm. is. It's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. We took regulations. We follow everything. So mm -hmm. it's an opportunity for us. Okay. So hopefully next year, since we're going to host a big event, mm -hmm. by then, mm -hmm. yeah, we're just praying. We pray. We trust God. We believe in God that mm -hmm. by next year this will be over, yes. and then we'll be able to huge uh, uh, to, huge to hold a huge mm -hmm. event. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. So yeah, it has been an opportunity for us. All right. Cool. And like, is there some sort of um, um, prescription, you know, for lack of any uh, better words, like what you prescribe to a woman out there who is, um, you know, plus size, you know, for example, and would want to join you guys? How would you like, you know, approach the lady and stuff like that? And, um, you know, tell them, okay, cool, you're free, c come join us. We have this thing running and stuff like that. So um, we have our personal Facebook pages as well, okay. um, Shunayatin, and obviously Tumela Ali favored Matahini, but mm. um, also our Miss Bold P plus size Facebook page. For ladies, like there's a lot of ladies that look at our Facebook page, they always interact with our posts and yeah. stuff, mm. but I feel like they are too shy or mm. still mm. holding back on mm. their potential. Yes. To them, I want to say that if you don't try, you will never know. Mm -hmm. And it sounds cliche, mm -hmm. but I promise you, mm -hmm. if I never put myself out there to enter Miss Plus um, World South Africa, mm -hmm. I would never have known about pageantry or be where I am today to be able to create opportunities for others. And there's a lot of ladies that I scroll through Facebook and I can see mm -hmm. that you have the potential to inspire others. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. don't sit mm -hmm. there and sit on that potential mm -hmm. when you could be doing something great for mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just about entering to look beautiful, mm -hmm. to walk in a ramp, to do whatever. Mm -hmm. It's about community. Mm -hmm. It's about us making a difference within our plus size community and the rest mm -hmm. of PE, Eastern Cape, South Africa, mm -hmm. as far as we can reach. Mm -hmm. um, also, we have had some backlash about us creating stigmas and only catering for plus size ladies. Yes. But to that, um, we just want to say that there's been opportunities for women that don't look like us mm. all our lives. Mm, mm. So when it's our time to create an opportunity, mm. please allow us yes. to do so without feeling yes. offended. Yes. Um, we do not discriminate in any way and mm. our brand doesn't only seek to empower plus size women, mm. but women of all kind. It mm. just so happens that we are plus size. Mm, for sure. We are not just there to empower women that look like us, but to empower everyone. Mm. Just more so that we know the personal struggles of mm. other ladies. Mm. So mm. if you ladies want to enter, please do so. We are there to support you. Mm. We are there to guide you. Mm. We don't know everything about pageantry. Yeah. We are just starting out ourselves, yes. but we will learn together. We yes. do learn every day. 
and that's something I can mm. really say works for us mm. going along with these ladies through mm. their journey it also creates a journey for us mm. and it's been crazy to me it's been crazy I've been stressed I've been yeah. at my yeah. what's end mm. but it's fun and that's what we want to create mm. for you mm. as a plus size lady mm. coming in just pure fun where you can experience the industry in its entirety mm -hmm. and yeah do something new awesome awesome cool so um what is the bigger picture you guys are looking at you know uh what is what is the future you know and stuff like what is the dream that drives you guys like okay cool um i think in the next 10 15 years course i believe you want to have a longevity and stuff like that. You wanna, oh, definitely. You wanna, you, wanna, you wanna influence not only probably Eastern Cape, mm. but the entire South Africa. Definitely. You wanna become global. Definitely. And stuff like that. So and what is the dream? It does not seem out of reach anymore. Mm -hmm. um, we started with Miss Bold PE. I've been getting inboxes about different provinces, mm. and that for me has opened my eyes a lot. Like, like I said, we do have financial issues because we are funding this mm. completely from our salaries and mm. it's difficult. Mm. But um, with our sponsors, I'm like so thankful for them. They mm. are small businesses, mm. but they've made our dreams become a reality. Mm. So eventually, mm. um, when we have built up enough and we have enough resources, mm. um, we have now branched out, like Tumela told you, to Ms. Bold Eastern Cape. Mm. So from there, we would like to do... Um, provincial pageants and then obviously our one big um national pageant from there it's only up and um, yeah i have been speaking to a few international contacts so hopefully within the next five years we'll have miss bold international Ooh, can't wait for that <laughs> i'll be back i'll be back sorry cool so um and you know, talking about financial, financial, the financial mm -hmm. aspect of things, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, are you guys maybe maybe it's an idea, or is maybe you guys have thought about it? You know, is is there some sort of a product range you guys maybe are looking like into the future? Maybe you know something because you see the thing is you guys are what we call um, you're you're disturbing the um, I can say the accepted yes. the norm uh -huh. of uh -huh. things you're yeah. you're starting something new, new and yes. you know it it it's something that creates new opportunities mm -hmm. and stuff like that you see you are you are changing the the um how can i say the field of mm -hmm. uh pageantry and stuff you're changing it uh so there will be opportunities and stuff like that so there will be like okay ladies who are plus size uh you know they would have like special products you know, special uh, clothing line or whatever and stuff like that. Have you guys like maybe thought about it that way in that in that aspect or is it's an idea you can, you can... Now that you brought it into our attention, mm. it, it has become an idea. Mm. At the moment, we since we are just, we just started, we're just finding our feet. So we're, we're looking at pageants mm. and then you have brought an idea to us. So it's something that we need to look into and then see in the future, maybe we might, we might, we might create, it's possible, yes, you know, it's possible, it's possible to create some, always something new. Mm -hmm. It's always possible to do that. So yeah, it's an idea. Mm -hmm. We might look into that. Actually, it's a great idea because mm -hmm. it will support us financially. Yes, Whatever yes, product that yes, we come up with yes. will support us financially. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, thank you. It's a great idea. Awesome. It's a great idea. Cool, cool. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You'll be credited. No worries. No worries. Sure, sure. When that happens, yeah, you can bring some samples. <laughs> and stuff. Cool. So um, you know, like um. We've just been for over 45 minutes now. Uh, but uh, I just want to find out from you guys, uh, what would be a message that you would like to um, leave to our listeners? Probably there's a lady somewhere there who feels just like, oh, you know, man, only if I was this size, you know, they don't feel comfortable in their skin. You know, they don't feel comfortable that, you know, they don't wear, you know, um, you know, you know, smaller clothing and stuff like that. Uh, what would you? What would be the message that you would wanna encourage or just give some an inspiration? So, the message from my side is that you can listen to all the motivational talks, you can have all the motivational quotes, mm. whatever. But if you don't get up 
and decide to be comfortable in your own skin, mm. you will never be. Mm. Um, if you look at me, mm. I'm a lady that wears size nine shoes. Mm. I have flabby arms. I have stretch marks. Mm. I take a size 50 dress. Mm. It's difficult to find clothing, to find shoes, mm. but I make it work. Mm. So I go out there, I will search, I will find, I will hunt mm. just to empower myself. So mm. don't give up because you don't feel like you belong in the skin or you should be a smaller size. If you do feel that way, I solemnly believe work towards it, mm -hmm. work towards your goals, but also at the same time, embrace who you are at the moment mm -hmm. because that is holding you back from so much in life. It has held me back for, mm -hmm. we can say, 21 years mm -hmm. of my life. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I let go, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm up. Flying. I'm on the up and up. Sure. So you can do it too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Timula, would, would there be anything that you would like? Can I? I, I like the verse uh, Philippians. Mm -hmm. I might not be exact about the, 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 the chapter, mm -hmm. but it goes as, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So... Uh, the moment I started to accept who I am mm. and how I am mm. and understanding me and mm. why God created me, mm. that's when I, 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 I went out, like she said, mm. you, I went out and looked for opportunities, mm. you know. Mm. So it's all about you accepting who you are mm. and how God has created you mm -hmm. and mm. once you start to accept how you were created by mm. God because I believe mm. there's a reason God created the way you are it's you true. cannot be the yeah, same I was looking at the book of e es Esther, Esther and yeah. it was talking about how well, Esther had a greater purpose mm. you know yes. but for her to, to, to go into the king's chamber mm. she, 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 she had to they, they, they wanted a certain type of people. Yes. They wanted young, mm. beautiful mm. women. Mm. So there was a greater purpose for her, mm. but the only way for you to step into the greater purpose, mm. she had to be a certain criteria. Mm. So I believe that each and every person mm. has got a greater purpose. Mm. The reason I was born big, I have a greater purpose mm. to sit here and tell you exactly. that you can do it. Yes. The reason why she was born... <laughs> the way she was, she's beautiful. She's my, I love she's beautiful in and out. Mm. She had a greater purpose, mm. you know. Yes, as yeah. yeah, if you can understand that, accept you are and, and and know that you have a greater purpose. God created you as special in in your own way. Mm. You are special. You are beautiful. Mm. They have seen those women. They are so beautiful mm. in their own That's way. True. I was so amazed when he had a photo shoot. Mm. Yo, they're beautiful. Mm. John, they're beautiful. Sure. Sure, that's that's amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I, I know I the, before we even go, like I, I just like you know, there's a scripture that says, you know, he knit me in my mother's womb mm -hmm. you know, from the book of Psalms. Yes. I mean, he knows everything. He knows, um, you know, he said my unseen body, and he he said, uh, we are fearfully and wonderfully mm -hmm. made. You know, uh, I think that comes from Psalm 139. If I'm not wrong. Uh, but, I, you know, I think this is just a message that goes out there. There's, you know, there's this stigma put out there. And especially, okay, I, it's not so much among guys, but I know, especially about women, you know, where there's some sort of rivalry, mm. you know, really don't appreciate, you know, another woman's, you know, you know beauty oh. and something like that. Always some sort of competitive spirit and stuff like that. And you guys are taking your time to appreciate others and to, you know, to make others mm. believe in themselves mm. wow that's a worthy course you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's 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 an amazing that's course amazing. that you guys are doing and uh i believe there will be you know uh ripple effects where it's gonna go uh viral they call it viral mm. you know many people will just you know grasp the vision because uh, i can when you're speaking mm. literally I can, I can i can hear the passion <laughs> you know and you know and the you know excitement to do this thing i really i can hear it and, you know, that's the thing that you usually need, you know, uh, like for many times, even myself, you know, uh, sitting down with some investors or whoever business mm -hmm. people, uh, I have to speak. And many times it's not the formulas that I have. And so all it needs is a passion, you know, and they speak and like, you know, so I believe you guys are going to go really, really far. And um, I just want to uh, tell our listeners again, our number is 067-99-445-46. What's up, us? We'll read your comment on Facebook in just a little while. Uh, so don't 
move we're gonna get back to you just now <laughs> 